Sizzling Semi-Finals Set Day 4, Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open 2017 Some blockbuster semi-finals are in store for fans at the Yonex Sunrise Hong Kong Open 2017 tomorrow, following a day in which some of the season's best storylines assumed new twists. Perhaps the most compelling is the continued run of success by Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjay Asukamuljo in men's doubles. Brushing aside Malaysia's Ong Yusin and Tan Wee Kiam, 21-14, 21-17, the Indonesian Dynamos propelled to within one victory of an eighth final in the ten tournaments they have contested on this year's MetLife BWF World Super Series Tour and hunting their sixth title. We played better compared to the last match. We were really into the match from the start and we understood the court situation, the drift etc. We don't want to think about winning the title yet because we always face tough opponents. All the pairs in the top 20 are similar quality, said 26-year-old Gideon in the aftermath of their quarter-final. Trying to halt the top seed's progress will be towering Lee Junhui slash Liu Yuchen who have lost all three encounters against the Mininans this season. The Chinese withstood a strong challenge from Russia's Vladimir Ivanov and Eva Sozonov in the first game and blazed home comfortably, winning 24-22, 21-11. Kevin and Marcus are the best pair and we want to play them. They beat us last week in China and we want to win this semi-final, declared 22-year-old Lu. Either Denmark's Mads Konrad Peterson slash Mads Peeler Calding or the rising Takuto Inu slash Yuki Kaneko of Japan will take the other place in the men's doubles showpiece as the two pairs meet for the first time tomorrow. The men's singles storyline features two seasoned stars against young players seeking to establish themselves in the top flight. Having demolished Korea's son Won Ho, 21-11, 21-12, with some sizzling strokes, Malaysian master Lee Chong Wei will be up against Shi Yuki. The latter put paid to fans' hopes for another installment of the Lin Dan Chong Wei saga, beating his Chinese elder, 13 to 21, 21 to 17, 21 to 15. Meanwhile, resurgent Olympic gold medalist Chen Long of China tackles Danish youngster Anders Antonsen, who has climbed to world number 13 this week. We know each other well from our training. So, it was more important to prepare myself psychologically. The critical phase was 15 to 15 in the third game. I was able to focus and play well, said she of outgunning the legendary Lin who erred repeatedly in the dying stage. Women's singles arguably the most intriguing category right now brings together four top contenders who are currently number two to number five on the destination Dubai rankings including defending champion Tide Zuying who issued an ominous assessment of her form, having overcome a recent shoulder injury. I think I am getting better and better, said the affable world number one after resisting ever-improving Chen Yufei's quest for a decider. The Chinese led 20-18 in the second game only to see the tie snuff out danger with a crisp smash followed by a deft drop shot. Errors by Chen hastened her demise, her 23-year-old Chinese Taipei rival prevailing 21-15, 23-21. Looking for her fifth Super Series crown in 2017, Tai will be buoyed by her 14-9 record versus semi-finals opponent, Sung Ji Hyun of Korea, and having triumphed in their last five matches. Sung beat China's He Bing Jiao, 21-15, 13-21, 21-15 to reach her fifth Super Series semi-final this year. The other women's singles is between two 22-year-olds Puzer Lavi Sindhu of India and Rachan Okintanan of Thailand, featured image, who have not faced each other since April 2016, with Intanan having a 4-1 head-to-head advantage. She cruised through 21-14, 21-16 versus Canada's Michelle Lee while Puzer Law took down consistent Japanese, Akana Yamaguchi. 21 to 12 21 to 19 despite trailing 8 to 13 and 11 to 16 in the second game it will not be easy against Rachan Oak at this stage all matches are tough if I can get to the finals or even win that would be good momentum going into the Dubai finals said Puser Law last season's runner-up at the Hong Kong Coliseum women's doubles will see top seeds Chen Ching Chen slash Jia Yifun China against Thailand's Zhang Kao fan Kitatharakal and Raywinda Prajong Jay while another Chinese duo, 
Wang Dongping slash Li Wenmei, set their sights on Indonesia's Gracia Poliai and Apriyani Rahayu. Kitatharakal and Prajong J upset number 4 seeds, Yuki Fukushima slash Sayaka Hirota of Japan, 21-12, 21-19, and are eager to capitalize on their first Super Series semi-final. We are really proud of this result. We have lost to Japan many times. They are strong and attacking so we decided to play soft and slower. Tomorrow, we will fight hard to get to the final, vowed the Thai tandem. While Chen Ching Chen eyes her fifth Super Series honor of 2017, her teammate, Huang Yakian, will be gunning for her sixth when she takes to the court in mixed doubles with Chen's former partner, Zheng Saiwei. They are pitted against Wang Yuliu slash Huang Dongping in an all-China tussle. With standing opponents as well as fatigue, Denmark's Matthias Christensen slash Christina Peterson are into the last four of mixed doubles for the second weekend in a row, having finished runners-up in China on Sunday. They play Japan's Takuro Hoki slash Sayaka Hirota in the semi-finals.